Hey guys, it's Tanya here. So today we're going to do a drugstore haul. Um, I just filmed a flawless foundation routine with drugstore products. So that will be going up today and this will probably go up tomorrow. We'll see how I'm feeling. Basically in that video I talked about these four products. So I'm going to talk about them quickly here because I did haul them from the drugstore and I think they're fantastic. This is the L'Oreal Studio Perfecting Magic Base. L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. Um, it's a very creamy consistency, as you can see. Uh, it's great for filling in any holes that you have in your face. I do not, unfortunately, have any acne scarring or any of that kind of stuff. But I find that this really conceals, I've used it on my clients, I find it really conceals any, like, uneven skin pigmentation. I don't know. I really like this product. I use it now in my kit regularly. I've got three bottles of it. It's my go-to product. Then, currently, for my quick makeup, um, I'm using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup. Um, it's considered a treatment makeup because it has collagen in it and uh, goji berry. Basically, it comes like this with a little sponge tip applicator. And then you turn the makeup up and then you use this to get all over your face. Um, I quite like these. Of course, you couldn't use something like this in your kit because you couldn't clean it. Um, but I do like them for personal use. Uh, I also picked up the concealer and the brightener from them. Um, these ones have little tiny sponges on the top. And the concealer, or the brightener, is a very pink colored brightener. So if you um, tend to lean on the yellow side, this probably won't work for you. It'll be too pink. But I do quite like it for my skin. I am a classic, my color is classic ivory. So that is the current foundation routine. Now, I'm going to talk about a product that I didn't like from the drugstore, but I did purchase. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Brightener and Primer. There we go. Now, it's a click pen, which if you watched my other two videos um, on my Sephora haul and on my um, MAC Sheen Supreme collection, you will know right away that I don't really like these click pen ideas, but it looks like this, and basically you would take it out of there and then click it up and then spread this all over your eye. Now I will tell you why I don't like this. The consistency is very wet. Maybe for a brightener I like this because then I would set it, but for an actual eye primer I find it very wet and I find it doesn't really dry tacky, so that would defeat the purpose for what I use my eye primers for. That's just me. Um, and I find it takes a long time to dry. So I didn't really like this product and it was quite expensive. So if you want to go try it, feel free. But I wouldn't recommend it. Um, now the blushes I picked up are the Dream Mousse Blush. Now I bought these Maybelline ones in the jars before these ones had come out. The little package styled ones now, the bouncy blushes. So let's go over these first. This is number 10, Pink Frosting. The color looks like this. It's a very bright pink. But as you can see the consistency, it looks like mousse. And it's very bumpy. And we're going to get into that in a second. Um, number 20 is Peach Satin. And this one has way less pink in it. It also has a lot less bumps in it, but it does the same thing as the other one. More of a peachy color. Very, very shimmery. Now I'm just going to swatch one of these for you. 25 is Rose Petal. And it's a mauvey rose color, deeper pink, I would say. So I'm just going to do one swatch of this for you because I want you to see what I'm talking about. So very little product you want to use with these because the more product you use, the more pumps you get, I've noticed. And you have to really work them out to get this smooth consistency. Um, if you don't work them out, you'll even see even in that there's some bumps. This is what I don't like about them. They have to really be worked. Um... And so that's not really something that, as a makeup artist, you want to have to take that much time to work them out. And then once you've worked them out that much, they're very, very sheer. So, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that product, per se, from Maybelline. Um, I just don't like the consistency, and I don't like how much you have to work them. Sorry, my hair's a mess. Uh, and then the one I do like is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. So I have number 70 in Hot Tamale. Looks like that. Now what I like about these is it's almost like a pillow top. If you see, you can actually push it and you're not really going into the product too much. So basically I just, um, I'll do a quick swatch for you. This is this really nice red shade. It's like a pinky red. 
Um, but I'm going to show you how sheer it can be worked out too. Like it can be worked out to just like a hint of color. Do you see how sheer that is? So the more you build it, the better it is. Um, I'm wearing it today, but I'm wearing it very lightly, just like a basic coat of it, where if you really can build this up, you'll see. See, it's very buildable. So you can wear those sheer or build them up to a, a more opaque color. Um, either way, I really like the consistency and the formulation. So I would recommend those ones, the Dream Bouncy Blushes, absolutely, over the Dream Mousse Blush. Um, but that's just my personal preference. Then I got two eyeliners. I'm not going to really get into too much detail about, but I got the color, the CoverGirl Liquid Lime Blast, which looks like this. And then I got the Rimmel Soft Coal in Jet Black. Now the Rimmel one is my favorite for my waterline. It is my regular waterline eyeliner. Um, I bought this one for the top of my eye. I have used it on my waterline, but I find that it does. It has a smudger brush, so. Um, it sets very quickly, and um, I find if you don't smudge it right away, it doesn't really work. So I'm not a huge fan of that. And this is my go-to eyeliner, the Jet Black Rimmel London Soft Coal Eyeliner. has been my go-to eyeliner for my um, waterline for years. I like five years probably. So those are the two eyeliners I picked up. And the last thing I bought there are the CoverGirl... Um, Oh, what are these called? Blast Flip Stick Lip Blendable Lip Duos. I've got three of them. So let's do um, Cheeky first, because that's one of my favorites. So this is Cheeky. So Cheeky has this like red color on one side. And I'm going to swatch these for you so you understand how they work. And then it has like this lighter red, pinky, peach color on the other side. There's the two swatches side by side. Now, then you're supposed to blend, the other option is to blend that third color in. So that's what it would look like. You see the middle color variation there? Now, people say you would lose a lot of product by doing that because then you'd have to clean this off. I don't think you would. You just give it a quick wipe, you know. That's all I do is just like one wipe and it pretty much gets rid of all of the top color. And so then you don't have to worry about that. So that's cheeky. Uh, and then I got... Pucker, which is this really nice, actually let's do the Tease first. Tease is a really bright red on one side, or sorry, I always call it a red, it's a fuchsia. It looks red, but the second you swatch it, it's like hot fuchsia. The other side is a really light, like opalescent color. It's just like a shine, do you see that? So when you blend the two together, that's what you get is this really nice light pink with a shine, the middle color there. And again, one wipe, like that's just one little wipe there, and it's completely clean. So, you know, that is an option is just to, to wipe it off. So those are um, Pucker and, no, sorry, Tease and Cheeky. And the last one I got is Pucker, which is the pink duo. So I'm going to swatch that one on the bottom of my hand here. So you get this really pretty bright medium pink there. And then you get on the other side this really nice like mauve pink, like a purpley shaded pink. When you blend them together, you get a really nice middle color. So I do like these. I've been using them a lot. Um, I'm quite surprised by how good these are. Not going to lie. Uh, I had put the um, pucker red color on my lips, orangey color on my lips. And I had gone out for the day and not thought about it. And then I went home and tried to take my lipstick off. And my lips were all stained that color. So I do find that the, the staying power of these is quite good. And I'll even show you a little bit of that on my hand. Because I'm wiping these off. Granted, I'm only using a baby wipe. But normally a baby wipe takes off most of my makeup. This is what's left on my hand from those. So they do have some serious staying power. So I would absolutely recommend going to pick these up. Um, if you like CoverGirl makeup, which I, I tend to like CoverGirl makeup. Um, I'm not a foundation fan, but their lipsticks always seem to hit in the right direction for me. So I do really, really enjoy these. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is my six Revlon lip burst, um, color burst lip butters. 
They are, I'm going to do a comparison video with these as well with the Max the Cream Shames, but I'll just swatch these for you now so you can see what they look like. And I'll do it on my clean hand. So I have number 45 Cotton Candy. Mm, cotton. Go, please. Thank you. Number 45 Cotton Candy. Now this one is like very sparkly, very shimmery. Do a quick swatch for you. It's one of the more sheers. I'm actually wearing this today. So you can get a good idea what it looks like on my lips. Um, it's very sheer, but also very shimmery. So that's cotton candy. Then I also picked up number 80, strawberry shortcake. Now this is a more medium pink regular it looks like that let's go over here now these are buildable but I would say they're pretty pigmented just from first swatch so I'm not building them up too much but that's what that one looks like that's strawberry shortcake now despite their yummy sounding names these do not as you heard my son earlier um, these do not smell or taste like those things unfortunately that would have been great for Revlon to do um, I've also got number 90, Sweet Tart. This is the brighter, kind of on the fuchsia, fuchsia side of pink, but it is quite sheer, so I'm going to build this one up a bit so you can get the accurate color of how I use it. There we go. Um, these have shea butter in them, um, so they are moisturizing. I mean, they're not as moisturizing as a lip balm, but they're definitely more moisturizing than a lipstick. I've heard people say these dry out. I haven't had that issue. Again, like I said, I had bought a lot more and I returned a bunch. Creme brulee did dry out on my lips. Absolutely dried on my lips. Um, what other ones did I pick up? Oh, red velvet. Totally dried out on my lips. And I didn't like the dark pigmentation and found that it almost was to the point where it would bleed on me. So I didn't like that one. Um, the red that I did keep is candy apple, which is number 35. I'm going to swatch that one. So, I mean, they're all different, and they're all different on each different lip type. And I think that if you like these or want to try these, because they are a drugstore product and they are quite cheap, your best bet is to go out and buy a few. I mean, you can get these, from what I understood, at some Ulta sales in the States. Um, buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free. So that's Candy Apple Red. It's not a bad deal for a moisturizing lipstick, and that's what these are to me. That's what I'm calling them. Um, because I find them very moisturizing and I find them as pigmented as a lipstick. So they've earned that name as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I also have number 25 Peach Parfait. Now this is a more of an everyday color. I find anyway, it looks like that. It's a really nice peach color. A little more sheer. Granted, again, these are all buildable. So the more you put on, the more darker they get. That's Peach Parfait. And I got them on my last one because I can hear the baby start to wake. And the last one is number 75 Lollipop. And this is a very bright, like purpley pink, very fuchsia. This is a color that you do have to be more careful with because it is more like a lipstick. You can't just put it on, slather it on. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But this is Lollipop very bright pink. So what I mean by that is today I am wearing strawberry shortcake. When I put these on, I generally throw one in my purse. Uh, where is strawberry shortcake? There it is. I throw this in my purse. When I want to put it on, I just open it up. I'm not careful because they're so sheer. I can get it on the outside of my lips and it doesn't make a big difference. With the colors like lollipop, um, and red velvet, you do have to be way more careful with them because they will look, you will look weird if you get it like on the bottom side of your lip. Anyway, I love these, um, but I would recommend that you try them out in the store on the back of your hand. You will see the difference in the formulation on the back of your hand. I am doing a whole blog post on these. I will link that in the down bar. 
so that you can see the difference in the formulations. But these six, I love. So that's my drugstore haul. Thank you for your time, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, keep an eye out for the Max Supreme Sheen versus Color Burst Lips Day from Revlon. And also my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. Uh, those are videos that are coming up in the near future. Bye.